Singapore detains Syria-bound radicalized women. Singapore says it has detained a woman intending to travel to Syria to marry a fighter from the so-called Islamic State is, militant group. Child care worker Seika Zasara Al Ansari, 22, was held under the Internal Security Act, ISA, which allows for detention without trial. She had been radicalized since 2013 by online propaganda, a statement said. She had a wide network of contacts, including his militants, some who had been killed or arrested for terrorism. Za was intent on joining ISIS, is and was actively planning to make her way to Syria, with her young child, to do so, a statement from the Ministry of Home Affairs said. She supported ISIS's use of violence to establish and defend its self-declared caliphate, and aspired to live in it. The young woman had been looking for an is supporter to marry, the ministry said. She said she would support her husband if he fought for ISIS in Syria as she believed she would reap heavenly rewards if he died in battle. She had been actively posting and sharing pro-is material online, it said. Her family, including her parents who were both teachers of the Quran, had been aware that she had become radicalized and planned to travel to Syria. They did not alert the authorities. They tried on their own to dissuade her but they were unsuccessful, the statement said. The ministry said it was the first time a woman had been detained in Singapore for radicalism. Under the controversial ISA, she can be held for up to two years without trial. Singapore is increasingly concerned about the spread of Islamist militancy in neighboring countries. Philippine troops are currently fighting militants occupying a city on the southern island of Mindanao who have pledged allegiance to IS. In a report on 1st of June, the ministry said two Singaporeans were believed to have gone to fight in Syria with their families. Fourteen more radicalized people had been detained under the ISIS since 2015. The ministry said this was a significant rise, compared to 11 cases between 2007 to 2014. The majority of Singapore's population are ethnic Chinese but there are large ethnic Malay and Indian communities. The city state also has a large migrant worker community. In the same report, it said that 40 Bangladeshi migrant workers and 8 Indonesians had also been assessed as radicalized since late 2015. All had been sent home except 6 who were serving sentences for terrorism financing offenses. In a statement, the Islamic Religious Council of Singapore said it would continue to work hard to inoculate the community against exclusivism and extremism. It said the young woman's case showed that the danger of self-radicalization is very real, through falling prey to false narratives and teachings on the internet and social media.